Why do we dig? Because this channel is about toys. And there's toys in this rock. That's right. We're going to dig it through some plaster and get some dinosaurs. So stay tuned. Alrighty, welcome, welcome, welcome. So here we are with the Jurassic World Dominion Dinosaur Dig Kit. As you can see, you can dig up a T-Rex skeleton, a figurine of blue, and a piece of amber, and it comes with digging tools. These are bones, or plastic bones, encased in plaster. As seen in this image, there is the, sorry for the shadow, but there is the brick of plaster with the digging tools. And this is what you'll find inside. Here's some uh, little information about the figures. And I've opened up a plaster dig before when I un when I dug the, out the, what was it? The T-Rex, um, the T-Rex skeleton of a, a different one, I mean. And that was a lot of fun. And I ended up. Um, really enjoying it that I bought the other dinosaurs. I'm trying to open this as I talk. And uh, this one I got because the T-Rex is in a dynamic pose where it looks like it's running. So here we go. I just broke the seal, opening it up. And hopefully we get a good video out of this. So inside we have, uh, here are the directions directions right there again sorry for the shadow my lighting is not the best in this at this desk but uh this is the only place i could have uh i could have um dug this out without making a complete mess here's the instructions so it says um it says that i need to excavating uh, i gotta divide the, the grid by squares Okay, and then uh, I gotta, and then I just dig. Okay, so we're, we're gonna do this as best as we can. I'm not a paleontologist, so I don't know how to do this exactly. Here's the tools. The other Jurassic Park T-Rex or Jurassic World T-Rex skeleton that I bought before came with three tools. One of the tools I believe was a brush. This time the tools are all uh, more. They're uh, made. They made multi tools. See, it has a knife and a hammer, rather than just being a hammer and then coming with a knife separate, which is cool. Cause um, it's kind of annoying when you're digging and you have to switch between tools. Take off the cardboard. Here is a piece of plaster that you will dig or I will dig from. Has the Jurassic World logo. Here, let's, let's shine in the light a little bit. There you go. The Jurassic World logo. The back has nothing. Uh, let's use the plastic, the knife to cut the plastic, shall we? Okay, here we go. We just broke into this. So there we go. We cut our uh, plaster into sections. And we'll start in the middle. How about that? So here, the point is I'm supposed to hammer this out. So let's get into it. This is not working very well. I think I'm supposed to get a dam. Darn, I don't have water with me. I'll be right back. And let's just get this wet. The direction said to get it wet, so I'm hoping this is the right thing to do. And here we go. Quick pause real quick. Um, this is going to take a while. <laughs> you know what? You just dig it out. Already, if you look here, you can see the base. That might be blue. I believe the T-Rex is a little bit bigger. Well, not a little bit, but 
just is bigger. I got plaster on my hands. So this is just like grid, but um, we'll just dig like this rather than chisel it out because chiseling is gonna take forever. Whoo! This is actually a little like a uh, little bit of work. I'm already sweating a little bit. My hands starting to get a little achy from the pressure. Okay, so if we look, if we feel around, there's a bone here and a bone here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep digging. You can see the amber right there. So I'm gonna make this the first piece I take out. Here we have the piece of amber. There's a little mosquito inside. It's a small piece, no more bigger than my thumb. Uh, but uh, it's cute. So that's the first piece we get. And already we have a piece of skeleton sticking out. So let's get that out. First bone. So here we got the base. Here is the base has a dinosaur footprint right here. Since this is a T-Rex, I'm assuming it's a T-Rex footprint. Let's uh, clean it out a bit. Here is Blue, the figure, very nice. A little simple figure. Okay, so this is what's left. Um, I don't know how many bones I have left. Let's see real quick. I'm missing the skull. And I'm missing, uh, it seems like I'm missing the skull and the jaw. Okay. Rough, smooth, rough, smooth. I'm just checking for any pieces I forgot. I think I got everything. I'm not sure. We're going to find out right now. Okay. Okay. So we cleaned all our pieces. We cleaned our dinosaurs. We gotta get rid of all this plaster soon. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna try to build this. So I don't have the directions on me. They're right there. But let's just build it anyways. So here's the dinosaur jaw. Rawr. Rawr. All right, I'm back. And here we have the pieces all washed and ready to build. So here we go. This is the skeleton completed in a dynamic running pose. Looks really nice. It's smaller than my other one, but it looks really cool. We'll stand it up here. I'm having a little hard time standing it up though. There we go. There's the T-Rex. There is blue. And there is the amber. So, very cool. A little of a pain to uh, take out and build. But in the end, you get a beautiful skeleton. And some figures and a piece of amber. And then, these are branded with a Jurassic logo. So, they could be excellent pieces to a collection. Especially a collection that features uh, fake fossils or bones of any kind. And with all that said, um, this was the dinosaur dig from Jurassic World Dominion. I got this off Amazon. It was about $20 retail for uh, the regular price. But it was on sale when I bought it. So I paid like about $14, $15. And I think that's a really good price for this. Uh... $20 is a bit steep for the size of the skeleton, but the experience, especially if you're a child, the experience would be a lot of fun. Uh, if you have the patience to uh, to dig like this, a uh, kid could have a lot of fun with these. I just got impatient and I decided to just break it out and kind of like scoop out the plaster and everything. Because again, uh, it, it takes patience. As you can see, I wouldn't make a good paleontologist because my digging skills are very uh, impatient. But it's a lot of fun. Hey, hope you liked that video. It was a lot of fun to make. 
a little bit messy, but very worth the effort and time put into it. Uh, my favorite part of it was a T-Rex skeleton. I enjoyed it a lot. It's not as cool as this skeleton, which came from another plaster set. There's a comparison right there. Um, but I like the pose. It's in a rooting pose. And it would look cool regardless of the size. With all that said, I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. This is Stinky Butt. Please follow me on Twitter under the Biosyn. And thank you very much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video because it will make me very happy. Love, peace, bird grease. See y'all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.